10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. We are one minute and seven seconds into flight, and as you can see, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off. Coming up next, you'll hear Max Q. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. And as you just heard, the vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. That's the point at which the stresses on the Falcon 9 are highest that, than they are at any other point during the flight. Everything is looking nominal right now. Now coming up, you're going to have three events happening in rapid succession. The first is MECO, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff. That is where all nine of the Falcon 9 first stage engines will shut down. That'll be followed by stage separation. That's where stage one will separate from stage two. And then we'll have SCS-1, or second engine start one. That is where that MVAC engine that, vac that Merlin vacuum engine on stage two is going to ignite and carry stage two onto orbit. We hear that MVAC chill is looking good. That's where we bleed a little bit of that super cold liquid oxygen into the engine. I said shut down. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And as you can hear by the applause and see on your screen, we've had a successful stage separation and ignition of that second stage MVAC engine. Now coming up in about 25 seconds, we're gonna have fairing deploy. So those fairing halves are going to split away from stage two and make their way down to Earth. And stage two will continue on with the Mirad Petit satellite onto its parking orbit. In fact, D had a really solid startup, and all of the temperatures are looking really good. The burn is going nominally right now. And as you just saw, we just had a successful separation of that fairing. Once we get into the vacuum of space, we don't need it anymore, so we get rid of that extra Second mass. Stage is following a normal trajectory. 